Oh man, I just got back into town because I was, you know, I've been traveling a lot this summer and it's been a big deal. My grandma, she just had her 96th birthday. Woo, yeah. uh, thank you. Yeah, she did. 96th birthday uh, last month. And so I went down to DC for that. And she's been uh, in the United States for 78 years. She immigrated here from Mexico. 78 years in the US. Doesn't speak a word of English. <laughs> and do you know what I call that? Winning. <laughs> Oh, uh, she's killing the game. My abuelita, she just, she looks like the old lady from Coco, you know, she's whoa. <laughs> just very curious eyes. And uh, she's got this superpower because she just walks into rooms and she says, oh, como? And then a, a cheeseburger just shows up in front of her. <laughs> I wish that I could do that. I wish I had that power where I could just be like, what, what happened? steak medium rare every time I'm like yeah man this is, it's amazing so I'm hanging out with my grandma and uh, we're, we're seated and she grabs my hand in her little hand and she goes mijo when are you gonna have kids you know when are you gonna and I live in Brooklyn so I'm like Peter Pan I'm never gonna you know <laughs> come on come on but I'd be like soon soon abuelita and she it's so crazy because when she was my age she had already had 14 kids 14 that is and this was before fertility drugs this is just beans and rice just vitamin t just tacos tortas tamales raw they go in i'm a third of the way through the act out i'm already exhausted and she was a migrant worker in the southwest and she was having kids on the job that's just like Raspberry, 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 Wapa. blueberry, you know? I like update my Facebook profile. I get five likes. I'm like, woo, job well done. Daddy needs a Gatorade, <laughs> you know? Completely different way. And my dad only had three. I'm the oldest of three. So that's a very different survival strategy. When you have 14 kids, you can lose three of them in a Walmart <laughs> and be confident that the bloodline will continue. <laughs> like, I probably still have uncles in aisle four that are like, hey, like, are they coming back soon? I'm like a manager now. 